I got an email, like, really right before it happened. Um, I don't know. I, it was just like, hey, like, Weezer wants to know if Lindsay can come up on stage at Forest Hills and sing Love of My Dreams. Didn't say anything about El Scorcho. Um, and I was like, that is my, it's been my favorite Weezer song forever. Like, cool to see it making a resurgence. Cool to even see them playing it on tour. I saw that, and I was like, woo, cool. Um, and, yeah, I just did, I did it. It was so scary. It was so cool. It was the coolest thing ever. I was just like, woo, super cheesy info. But when I was five, I like that song, Beverly Hills. Like, parents used to put it on because I was, like, obsessed with being a rock star when I was a little kid. Like, that's what I was for Halloween all the time. It was like, um, they'd be like, that's your song, Lindsay. Put on Beverly Hills. And I was like, and yeah, I feel like Weezer's one of the first bands I ever got into. I will say, the media has not recognized it yet, but I do play a major role in the movie. Yeah, and so now I'm kind of just like getting my, sinking my roots into like, trying to become a good actor, not just like an actor. So I just think, I don't know, it was cool. I felt like, like I was going to cry while I was there. So I was just like, this is my, one of my favorite mediums. It's cool to be here in like a way that feels genuine, where the movie is not like a, it's not gimmicky, it's really cool. And like the message is cool and like the this acting is good. Dude, I mean, well, first of all, I had to, like, draw a mole on myself, which I was just, like, in the mirror. I was like, you look... I have this one picture I'll show you after. I'll send it to you if Please. you want. It's, it's insane. It's just me for the... I had to take this, like, full body shot, and I'm wearing these spandex and, like, this shirt that says Italians do it better, and I'm like... I'll show you. It looks really, like, I've been doing something for, like, nine hours, and I'm going crazy. But, um, yeah, I was just in my apartment, and the guidelines for the audition were really specific. It was, like... You can watch the music video for, because I was auditioning for one era of Madonna, specifically when she was like 20. And they were like, you need to watch uh, the, tru you know, what is it, Truth or Dare, the documentary. And then you need to watch these two music videos and imitate it without imitating it. They were like, get your own dance moves though. And I cannot tell you how many in my deleted, there was probably like a hundred. It All was right, just like. Let's see. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> so what you want I'm honestly, I'm in like a weirdly prolific and non-prolific time in my life because I'm starting, I've been starting songs for two years and they're all awesome. I love them all, but it's the, the process of like finishing them and flushing them out is more confusing to me now because I feel so much more aware of myself as like, just because it's like you have one record, you have another one, you see what happens and you see, you see how you feel like coming out of it, whatever, and, and I feel now just strongly about being just just growing and changing and I don't want to stay like I don't want to be a sad girl for the sake of being like a sad girl and I don't think like my the only place I can live is in heartbreak land it's like I and I and I don't even think the only place I can live is love land either like I would love to just so I'm I'm I think it's gonna be it's it's really been it's really been a something trying to figure out what the next record's gonna be the adventurous third album it's gonna be great I think